Hey everyone and welcome back to another session of how to build in No Man's Sky. Today I would like to show you the scale glitch and the extended scale glitch. These two techniques we figured out during my Thursday stream and I want to thank Pezes and Faro for their tips and suggestions because Pezes was the one that actually discovered this glitch and then Faro gave us a suggestion which even made this uh, glitch even more fun. I'm still not entirely sure how long this will be existing because in theory I look at this and I feel like this might be a little bit over the top which might make Hello Games think about it like you know what I think we're gonna take that one out. But anyway let's go into it let me show you what the scale glitch is. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to a building part right here, for example, the lantern. And we place the lantern right here and we scale this item up. Then we place that item where we want to place it and we adjacent city from the scaled lantern to the polite next to it. And there we go. That is now a polite scaled up completely. And you can do this with every build part you can have in Scalable. That means that if you have a build part like this, the illuminated side, you can just quickly scale up the light box. So the same here. We can also scale down, of course. You can scale down the light sign here as well. And then if we adjacent see from that light sign to the light box, you can see that we now have a small light box compared with the original one. Now the fun part, and let's go back into the menu just to show you what is going on here. If I go to my sphere and we cycle through our parts, because that is what we're doing when we adjacency, we're going through that section of the menu. And while we're going through that menu, you can see that we're going through all these parts here. And at a certain point, we are going to be ending up again at the sphere. That means that if we have a building part that is scalable at the end of this list, for example, the small generator, and we can place it here and we scale up this generator. And we adjacent shift glitch from the generator to the sphere, your sphere will be sized up as well. So this is the scale glitch, which allows you to go through your menu to scale the part next to it. So this is all possible with all the scalable items you have in your menu. So that means that everything that's scalable here, you can scale and adjacency glitch to the part next to it. But that's not all. And that is where the extended scale glitch comes in. The extended scale glitch allows you to scale an item, adjacency to another item and make it the same parts or small size, depending on what decision you made. And then you can duplicate that item and scale once again the part next to it. This is the extended scale glitch. Now I have this sphere here. If I go into my build menu, um, sorry, if I go to in my build menu and we go to toggle edit and we create R1 duplicate, I'm now taking the sphere at the same size as it is here. And then we just simply adjacency from that large sphere to the large cube. Now, if you want to snap a cube on that cube, you will see that it will not follow the same size. That's not possible. But as soon as you release it and we duplicate it again, we have the large cube here. We can adjacency once again now from that one to the building part next to it. That means that we can now glitch each of the parts in this menu as long as there is one scalable item in this list. Same goes for the flora containment. If you take the flora containment and we adjacent see, we are now creating this massive livestock feeder. And again, we can go to the edit menu, duplicate it, and then adjacency from the live feeder or livestock unit to the automatic feeder. And if you compare that with the actual size, you can see that this is definitely scaled up unbelievably large. And this is the reason why I think that Hello Games might decide to take this out and remove this glitch. Because if you build a lot of these large parts, then this will influence the complexity of the game and might also cause the game to crash more if you're a builder in that case. 
So anyway, guys, I hope this was very useful to you. And you have to definitely check out also Action Pants Gaming because he made a video about what else you can do with this scale glitch. He calls it the menu jump. I would definitely check it out. I will drop a link to the video below in the description. Try it out. You can definitely do some fun things. And with the menu jump, you can do even more. Definitely check out Action Pants Gaming for that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.